Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Deacon calls off wedding, Shyla's taunting and Glee sets off alarm bells. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, sure enjoyed taunting Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda. Although Shyla claims to be a changed woman for the better, her taunting indicates otherwise. Right now, Deacon Sharp, seen Kanan, is just reminding Shyla of their nice, peaceful, quiet life. This version of Shyla doesn't see the fun in that. Could Shyla be different somehow, and will it lead Deacon to call off the wedding? Keep reading and let's discuss what could happen. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Shyla Carter's sacrificial survival, and B spoilers reveal that Shyla claimed she tried to stop Janet Weber Aka Sugar, Kimberlyn Brown, from hurting Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline Missins Wood. While Sugar might have been trying to frame Shyla, I don't think Steffi's enemy was really trying to save her. It was stated that Shyla was shackled and starving in solitude for weeks. That's a lot of time for someone to think about what led to their situation. For some people, it changes them for the better, for others, it makes them even worse. B and B spoilers. John Finnegan's delusion. Deacon loves Shyla, so it's easy to see why he believes in Shyla. As for John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, just because someone survived an ordeal doesn't mean they are heroic or redeemed. At first, Finn just claimed Shyla tried to save Steffi's life. However, in the most recent episode, Finn told Steffi that Shyla tried to save her as well as Hayes Forrester Finnegan, Alexander and Chase Banks, and Kelly Spencer, Sophia Paris McKinley. The children weren't home at the time of Sugar's break-in, but whatever you say, Finn. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, taunting Lee Finnegan. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Deacon insisted on taking Shyla to the hospital. While there, Shyla taunted Lee and played mind games. If Shyla and Lai were friends, that would be one thing. However, Shyla knows that she left Lee for dead. Shyla knows all the other crimes and sins that she committed against Lee and her loved ones, so for Shyla to taunt Lee like that indicates she hasn't changed at all. It's a far cry from Shyla telling Finn how much she loves Steffi. B and B spoilers. Deacon Sharp's heartbreak. On Monday, May 14, 2024, Deacon had to tell Shyla she shouldn't have taunted Lee like that at the hospital. Shyla seemed to enjoy taunting her victim. Shyla said that behaving was no fun. If Shyla is going to taunt Leia like that, would she cruelly do that to her other victims? Would Shyla taunt Steffi, whom she now claims to love? At some point, Deacon might realize that Shyla isn't the same as before her ordeal. Deacon thinks Shyla's changed for the better, but what if she hasn't? What if Shyla is even worse than before? Could Deacon make the heartbreaking decision to call off the wedding and his romance? The sun hung low over the Los Angeles skyline, casting long shadows across the sprawling Forrester estate. Inside the mansion, tension crackled like static electricity in the air. Deacon Sharp stood in front of the mirror, adjusting his tie with shaky hands. Today was meant to be the day, the day he finally married the love of his life, Brooke Logan. Doubts gnawed at him like persistent rats in the cellar of his mind. Outside, a sleek black limousine pulled up, its polished exterior reflecting the uncertainty of the moment. Inside Brooke sat, radiant in her ivory gown, a vision of beauty and grace. Her heart fluttered with nervous anticipation, but beneath the excitement a kernel of unease lurked. She clutched her bouquet tightly, the scent of roses mingling with the scent of doubt. Meanwhile, Across town at the cliffside mansion, Shyla Carter sat perched on the edge of her seat, a glass of champagne in hand. She watched the drama unfold on the television screen, a slow, sly smile creeping across her face. Shyla had always been a master manipulator, weaving intricate webs of deception to achieve her desires. And today her desires centered on one thing, the destruction of Brooke and Deacon's happiness. In a secluded corner of the Forrester estate, Quinn Fuller paced back and forth, her mind racing with conflicting emotions. 
As Brooke's best friend and confident, she wanted nothing more than to see her friend happy. But Quinn sensed something amiss, like a storm brewing on the horizon, threatening to unleash chaos upon their carefully curated lives. Back in the mansion, Deacon took a deep breath, steeling himself for what he knew he had to do. His fingers trembled as he reached for his phone, dialing Brooke's number with slow deliberation. Each ring echoed in his ears like a tolling bell, marking the countdown to a decision that would change everything. Deacon, Brooke's voice trembled on the other end of the line, filled with a mixture of hope and fear. Brooke, Deacon began his voice thick with emotion. I, I can't do this. Not today. Silence hung heavy between them, pregnant with unspoken words and shattered dreams. Brooke's heart sank like a stone, her breath catching in her throat. Why? Her voice cracked, barely a whisper. Deacon closed his eyes, willing himself to find the strength to explain. I love you, Brooke, more than anything, but I can't shake this feeling, this doubt. Tears welled up in Brooke's eyes, her hand trembling as she clutched the phone to her ear. Deacon, please, don't do this. I'm sorry, Deacon whispered, his voice breaking. I need time. Time to figure things out. And with those words, the fragile thread holding their future together snapped, leaving Brooke adrift in a sea of uncertainty and heartache. Across town, Shyla's smile widened as she watched the drama unfold on the screen. Well, well, she murmured to herself, raising her glass in a mocking toast. Looks like the wedding bells won't be ringing after all. Quinn paced faster now, her thoughts spinning like a whirlwind. She had always been fiercely protective of Brooke, and now, more than ever, she felt a primal urge to shield her friend from harm. But how could she protect Brooke from the demons that haunted Deacon's heart? Back at the mansion, Deacon hung up the phone with trembling hands. He sank onto the edge of the bed, his head in his hands, the weight of his decision crushing him like a vise. Doubt not at his insides, twisting and turning like a serpent coiled around his heart. I did the right thing. Deacon whispered to himself, trying to convince himself as much as anyone. I had to. But deep down, a voice whispered back, taunting him with the specter of regret. In the days that followed, the Forrester estate became a battleground of emotions. Brooke retreated into solitude, grappling with the shattered fragments of her dreams. Quinn stood steadfast by her side, offering silent support and a shoulder to lean on. Meanwhile, Shayla Carter prowled the halls of her mansion, like a lioness on the hunt. Her plans had been set in motion, the first amino tipping into the intricate cascade of events she had meticulously orchestrated. But Shayla knew better than anyone, in matters of the heart, chaos reigned supreme. At the cliffside mansion, Glee watched the turmoil unfold with a furrowed brow. As Shyla's confident and loyal ally, Glee had always been privy to her employer's schemes and machinations. But now a seed of doubt sprouted in her mind, like a fragile shoot pushing through the cracked pavement of certainty. Are you sure about this, Shyla? Glee ventured cautiously, her voice tinged with concern. Shyla turned to face her, her eyes glittering with determination. Trust me, Glee. Everything is going according to plan but beneath the facade of confidence, uncertainty lurked like a dark shadow in the corners of Shyla's mind.